Sally's got 24 votes, KT 29, and Alan is leading with 37. How many more votes does Alan need to be certain that he's going to win? Well, let's add them up. We've got 53, 83, 90 votes so far. So that means there's 40 left. I'm going to show you two ways to do this question now. So I did it by kind of visualizing what, or actually kind of running the process, what could potentially happen. Sally is too far behind. So the main challenge is Katie. I mean, if, if some of the votes now go to Sally, then that's great because Alan's just going to kind of remain, um, you know, if, if the next five went to Sally, then there's less votes to come and Alan will need less of them. So we've got to imagine that the votes are going to Katie as the nearest challenger. So let's say Katie gets the next eight votes and goes up to 37 as well. Sally's still on 24. So now there's going to be 32 left. Um, so actually, the worst Alan could do would be to, not the worst he could do, but like if he got 16, they could, he was guaranteed a tie. Um, but to win and get the most votes, he's going to need an extra one, he's going to need 17. And that is going to be the answer to this question. So if we add 17 on, it's going to be um, 54, and that would leave uh, 15 for Katie on 52. So 17 definitely needed, but Katie cannot then win. Basically, it's got to be Alan. So that is how I did this question. Um, another way you can do it is to say that, right, we've got Alan with uh, 37 votes, and he needs X more. And this has got to be greater than Katie's 29 votes plus the remaining amount that she could potentially get. So she could get the other 40 less the number of votes that Alan then gets. So I've constructed an inequality. And again, this kind of hinges on forgetting about Sally. She's the nearest challenger. So we're imagining her getting most of the rest of the votes. So Alan just needs to really beat her um, because if he beats her, he's guaranteed to beat Sally as well. So I've got an inequality to solve now. We're going to get uh, 2x is greater than 69 minus 37. 2x is therefore going to be greater than 32. x is greater than 16. And so this is another way to show it. The, the largest whole number that's greater than 16 is 17.